What's up, Libra? This is Soul and Libra. We're going to take a look at some energy for you this week, starting May 2nd and ending uh, May 8th, 2022. The messages will be for Libra suns, moons, rising, singles, couples, Libras who are into same sex loving energies. Before I begin, Libra, I hope, uh, hope all is well. And uh, I want to wish all the Libras out there who are mothers a very happy Mother's Day because the energies will end on May 8th, which is Mother's Day, right? So this week, uh, Libra, I'm using the Clement uh, Tarot to deliver your messages. All the cards should be in the upright. And without further ado, let's get underway to see what the energy is going to be for you. Okay, energies for Libra suns, moons, and Libra rising signs. What is... What are the messages for Libra? All right, Libra, let's begin. Your message opens up with that of the uh, your own energy. Oh, shit, the Nine of Swords. Okay, so the Nine of Swords is opening up here, and you know the Nine of Swords is, for me, in terms of how my interpretations go, is... Relative to, um, for some of you, internal, dealing with some sort of internal stress that you have yet to, you know, resolve, come to some sort of conclusion. Um, I've been drifting uh, with the energy of the Nine of Swords that, you know, it's gone far back from things that are unresolved from our childhood. Now, I don't know if I wanted to dive that deep, but sometimes the Nine of Swords will bring up. Um, you know, that feeling for me that is, you know, some things that we have just not been able to, um, you know, come to a point and, and bring in some sort of closure to. But if that is the energy that relates to you, the Nine of Swords nonetheless still ask you, Libra, to bring up to the surface of those energies. You don't need a therapist. Uh, you know, some of you may, because this card here, you know, is relative to uh, mental depression, anxiety. Some of you are not, you know, medically diagnosing, but some of you could be on prescription drugs for anxiety, depression, mood swings. Um, but you want to bring that energy up. Um, possibly to have some sort of discussion with yourself if it was involving any types of conflicts and you know involving um, another person or persons and you don't have the ability to you know communicate with these people uh, this you know have the conversation with yourself and whatever role that you played in that energy forgive yourself um, and release it let it go and then forgive them and then you'll start to see the, or at least start to feel the Nine of Swords energy, you know, move away from you slowly but surely. It's not something that's going to happen overnight, but, you know, in time and then with practice, you know, it does. Uh, otherwise, the card still represents someone uh, cheating, someone um, lying to you, someone having an affair, someone could possibly betraying you. Um, difficulties in terms of expression and when it relates to, you know, your feelings. Uh, for someone now that could be uh, you know a romantic partner could be that you know uh, I always talk about the projection of energy coming on to you someone hurt you really bad here and you're having a difficult time so it could be um, a family member it could be a friend maybe you see because the trust is uh, lacking here this is a card of mistrust or betrayals someone betrayed you So this Nine of Swords opens up, us up and is, you know, relative to your own energies, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Shadow energy, however, relates to that of the Knight of Cups. Okay, the Knight in Shining Armor. He has an offer of love. Um, if it is, you know, in terms of expression, this is a court card. So someone wants to offer their love. Now, that could be romantic or it could be platonic. All depends on your situation. Okay, he's emotionally stable. He's on a horse, so somebody new may be arriving or coming through or coming towards you. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces represents this uh, Knight of Cups. Let's see what's crossing the uh, Nine of Swords. Maybe we can figure out what's the anguish here. Okay, so then we have the um, 
Yep, Five of Wands. Okay, Five of Wands is showing up here. This projection of energy. Someone wants to start an argument, start a petty fight with you, Libra. It's not worth it. Uh, don't add fuel to the fire, as I always say, because it could be that there's something going on with them that got nothing to do with you. If it ain't, you know, someone coming at you with, you know, pettiness and, you know, arguments and stuff like that, then some of you may experience uh, just a small detail of inner restlessness. And we all go through that. That, too, could be, you know, um, even though it's the wands, it's still energy, just like, you know, the mental uh, stress card here, the nine of swords. So it could be an indicator of the degree of what's declining here from the mental nine of swords. You know, the fidgety, the restlessness, the nervousness, the anxiety, the sleepless nights. So... I can see it winding down for some of you. Some of it may have to do with winding down because, you know, you're finally, you know, addressing what needs to be addressed that was overlooked or just shut out that you didn't want to address because maybe it was too painful to, you know, deal with it. Okay, so what did Nine of Swords, though, Libra, I don't want to go too deep, you know, because like I said, I'm not, you know, um playing psychiatrists or sitting up here trying to diagnose but i have so many scenarios um when the nine of swords shows up um someone feeling you know trapped i also feel that for whatever reason this card here gives me you know i get rape someone may have been raped and the conflicts you know concerning that energy all right so following the five of wands we have uh aries leo and sagittarius up next we have the wheel of fortune okay so a stroke of luck my fate and destiny card as i always call it um you're that leo, leo no i was gonna say leo <laughs> you're that libra that gambles gamble responsibly because this is lottery wins usually big wins uh being at the right you know right place at the right time all right, something auspicious may happen or occur for you. Um, something fortunate may turn into your favor or in your favor. That's always the 10 of, um, well, it's, it's a 10, but it's the will of fortune. Lucky, being lucky. And it's a major arcana, so it's something that's very, very powerful. After the Wheel of Fortune here, Libra, now we have the uh, Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles is that card of um, so many messages that can come through. But it's the uh, first thing that comes to me when it comes to these relationships. You know, a little bit of withholding love and affection towards someone. Um, or that person is, you know, withholding that affection and love from you. Otherwise, it's the um, someone can still get a you know, pay raise through their work. Um, someone could be just being very, very mindful of the finances this week, um, uh, because you may be coming up short to, uh, meet, uh, bill expectations. For others, it could be that you're starting off small in terms of saving for something greater. So, yeah. Yeah. Four of Pentacles is uh, regarded as Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Up next here we have the uh, Seven of Swords. This is the third time the Seven of Swords is showing up here. Uh, so this is usually someone who I read as an, you know, the Seven of Swords I read as an actual person. Someone wants to come back, uh, Libra, from your past that, you know, is still conflicted, still hasn't resolved their energies and they're thinking of you okay and so they may reach out to you so be careful this could be a friend a ex-romantic partner it could be a family member that you sort of had odds with and then you know there was uh a parting of the ways or some other type of energies that created some sort of separation or distance for others if this week it could be whatever you laid down misplaced thought you lost it comes back to you it's a return of energy so this is representing you 
And also too, it mirrors the Nine of Swords. So you can look at it that it's two degrees or two swords less. So um, someone you could be working on those conflicts, lessening the pain that you may have experienced. Okay, that's the Seven of Swords. So yeah, Seven of Swords, Libra, you, Gemini, and Aquarius. Up next here we have the uh, Hierophant. So now you're protected. Even more so because it sits underneath that nine of, ooh, okay. It sits underneath the nine of, nine of swords. You know, an instant thought just came to my mind. Even though this is a very powerful and beautiful card. I, you know, and I mentioned, now, now hear me out. This is, this is how I oftentimes pick up energies and whatnot. And I might throw you off a little bit. This is someone who I talked about was raped, and then we have the priest here. Okay, so that could be the energy. Otherwise, let me read the positive attributes, because I see connections here. Okay, when I connect uh, the seven of swords and the nine of swords, and now this priest here is underneath the nine of swords. Still a card of weddings, marriage is still a card of teaching and learning. The Hierophant is also on the job training for me, for whatever reason I get that. It could be that, you know, you're definitely, um, in a sense, spiritually watched over, spiritually guided, and you're spiritually protected. So if this energy here from the scenario I had just, you know, I just given, you know, they know your pain. They know your suffering. Spiritual, I'm, so, I'm referring to. Spiritual wise. They know your, so you're protected still, but they know your pain. They know what you've gone through. So some of you could be, you know, returning to school or in school. Some of you I could be talking to who are, you know, um, you know, work for institution, teaching institutions. All right. So the higher font represents Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo. Up next after the uh, major arcana. Now we have the two of cups. Well, we know what the two of cups is about. Formation of relationship. I'm sorry. This is the three of cups. I saw two women in this assume. And then when I held down. The card I saw the three. It's the three of cups. So this is happiness, joy, celebration. Um, it could be together with your uh, romantic partner, celebrating with friends, celebrating with siblings, family members, other family members, co-workers, going out to happy hour, celebrating someone's birthday anniversary. It could be the celebration of Mother's Day. Three of cups represents Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. A very joyful card to receive in this reading following the three of cups now libra we have the uh page of swords more of your energy so this is new conversation speaking your truth owning your truth gaining clarity new insights now because it, it's been showing up here for you know most of these readings here the page of nights how i regard the interpretations uh my own interpretations the page of nights the uh, Queen of Knights, the King of Swords. I'm sorry, what am I talking about? The Page of Knights. The Page of Swords, the, the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the King of Swords, for goodness sakes, are all about your truths. You're speaking your truths uh, and gaining clarity, okay? <laughs> the hell I was talking about. But anyway, you know what I mean. Somebody could be checking you out. This page of swords is always about someone checking you out, possibly socially, on social media. It follows the two, uh, I'm sorry, it follows the three of cups. This is first actions, first moves. Decisions. All right, so Libra, this is um, this is also involving worldly news. Did I say that? I said news, I think, but I didn't say worldly news. That could be a possibility. But it's all about new conversations, though. And 
and speaking your truth, gaining clarity. Following the uh, Page of Swords now, we have the uh, Ace of Wands, okay? This is the Ace of Wands, and this is card of inspiration, being inspired to do something, creativity, uh, news, good news. It's generally good news, always a touch of surprise coming through. Underneath the Four of Pentacles, that could be uh, some sort of stroke of luck as it is connected to the Will of Fortune and then your financial situation changes for the better. That would be the news that you receive um, through any means of, you know, expected sources or unexpected sources. Could be from uh, investments. This is uh, creative pursuits. This is hobbies. Being passionate about those creativity, um, well, creative activities that you um, that you have or interests that you have. The energy of this Ace of Wands, it comes in very, very fast. So you could be the receptor of, uh, you know, good news and surprises related to any thing that you got going on for this week. Okay. Something that I feel that might put a you know, smile on your face. And it does mirror the Three of Cups. Your last card here for you, Libra, is the Strength card. So nothing else is going to bother you. Stand in your way, feeling powerful. This is a card of strength, ex, you know, sexual expression, sexual energy, passion, very strong passion. So anything you got going on this week should be no worries. Strong enough to handle somebody who may show up from your past. Okay. In terms of rebuking the devil. <laughs> this is what I have for you, Libra. This is great energy. So, you know, again, whatever you do, do it safely and do it well. Uh, again, enjoy Mother's Day for all the mothers out there. Uh, no Oracle cards this week unless, you know, I, you know, speak my own Oracle message to you, Libra. And that is I love you guys. Stay blessed. Thank you for your support. And that is the message. Keep smiling and I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.